Hello there, it's Nancy back with another encaustic technique for you to try. Um, this is again just a, a short video that shows you a really fun technique to use which is using and incorporating tar paper as part of your encaustic pieces. So what I did here to start with is I um, purchased some tar paper from Home Depot. You could get it from roofing supply places or wherever. It usually comes in a roll. And I cut it into little squares here, which I glued down on my panel. And then now you can see I'm covering it with numerous layers of wax. Now, normally with encaustic, as you know, you would fuse each layer before you, uh, you know, add the next. But what I'm doing here is really saturating um, and creating a lot of wax for this effect to, to um, be able to utilize. You can see here, as soon as the blowtorch hits that tar paper, it creates a leaching of some of the materials from the tar paper to, you know, swirl out into the wax. And while the wax is still molten here, you can turn your panel around, twist it around, so you can get all sorts of neat kind of swirling movements um, and gratuitous kind of pattern. So there's the little finished panel there. Now, in addition to cutting out shapes or patterns and being able to incorporate this, you can also just have um, large pieces of it. So what I've done here is this panel, I've already done a couple of layers of you know, igniting the tar paper and creating some runoff into wax. And then I layered even more wax on top. And you can see I'm taking the blowtorch to this again. I'm now using a dental tool, um, just kind of a metal tool that I can lift the piece up with. You see I'm kind of using the blowtorch to blow off some extra wax onto the concrete board surface that I'm working on. Later I can just scrap, you know, scrape that off the concrete board and reuse that as part of my you know, wax sludge pot, so to speak. Um, so here, just using another old dental tool or any kind of tool you can use to stabilize the piece, I'm just kind of turning the panel, slightly shifting the angle of it to create the that runoff and the swirling to go in, in sort of the direction or movement that I want it to go. And then I'm gonna let the panel sit in place until that wax gets a little more solid and then I can just trim the edge so that it's nice and clean and continue to build up this surface. So this is a really fun thing to try. You might want to do it outside just to keep your workspace free of any fumes from the, you know, when the, the blowtorch hits the tar paper. It's probably not the best thing to be breathing. So I usually do this outside, but um, it's a very fun technique. So I'd give it a whirl. Have a great day. Bye.